My name is Neropop. And my name is GameGuy underscore YT. And today we're joined by... <laughs> Nobody, because we're so lonely. Yay! Oh, uh, we don't have any friends. No, we do have friends. We've just had them all on. Um, <laughs> we'll find somebody else in other words. Please help us. Um, Welcome to the Game Podcast. Podcast. <laughs> Welcome, everybody. We don't have anybody else on. I love the fact that we are okay. The it's like the I old love. days. I love the fact that we've we're still going and we haven't given up. I, this is like I've still have more videos of this series and last series, and it's like more consistent and everything. It's all good. Yeah, I'm impressed by. It. I don't know if it's right to be impressed by yourself, but I'm impressed by it. I am too. Going. I'm also very much enjoying it. I think it's great, and I also. Hope I agree. Feel, I, I feel like people are what? I feel like people are listening. I feel like people are people are enjoying it. Uh, and if people aren't happen. enjoying it, then I'm listening to it about a million times over while editing. So exactly, yeah. <laughs> and in a couple of weeks' time, that'll be me. Yeah. <laughs> for a few weeks doing that, and it'll be perfect. Um, take, I'm taking well the mantle. Well, I'm 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 super excited to to be keeping on doing this and enjoying making the podcasts and all that. So yeah. I feel like this is the one consistent thing I've got going at the moment. Yeah. I'd say <laughs> the only consistent thing I've got going is I, I've managed to get out a video every week for the past month. It's better than me. I'm coming up to my monthly video. <gasps> Maybe even a month and a half, actually. When is my next video meant to come out? That is a good question. Because I should probably start working on it. Oh, it's only a week ago I uploaded a video. It's fine. It's fine. Oh, yeah, Andrew you've got ages. Is. You're fine. <laughs> yeah. oh, a bit inconsistent upload no, channel. Yeah, but you... Yeah, I was going to say you have consistent streams, but you don't even have consistent streams. No, I haven't streamed in, what, two I weeks? I haven't streamed for a good while. It's so good. It's so good. Um... We love it. We love to. We love to see it. You know what else we love to see? Movies and TV. That's why. Yes, we do. I love. I love watching movies. I don't think I don't dedicate enough time to watching films. Uh, I don't think, but I dedicate time to watch TV a lot. I think I watch too I much films. time to I watch reckon, TV. <laughs> yeah, I don't dedicate enough time to watch films. That's my problem. Yeah, I feel like I'm films... happy laying down like fifty minutes, but I'm not usually mm. happy laying down two and a half hours. For me, I don't think it's that. I think it's just films. They overall they're shorter. Like a series, okay, I'll binge. Yeah, yeah I'll binge right. and I just watch about. I uh, watch an entire season in one day. Whereas a film, I watch it and it's just over. I'm just left like, oh, yeah. you know, it's just not yeah, the same. Yeah. It's like <laughs> when they. On March 19th, when they bring out Falcon and the Winter Soldier from Marvel Studios, we're going to get six hours of content. <laughs> if that was a film, we would have got two, two and a half hours worth of them on yeah. screen for a film. We're going to get six hours off the bat. Way better. I mean, you couldn't That's... watch a film for six hours. <laughs> you know, exactly. You can watch a film for six hours. Yeah, you couldn't watch a six-hour film, but for some reason we can manage binge-watching six hours with I think TV. it's because I normally have tea breaks. Each, like, it's yeah. in, like, you, you, like, as soon as you finish one episode, you go, you make a cup of tea, and then you drink a cup of tea while watching yeah. the next one, you go, and you go... It's I wouldn't like... say I'm a wild binge-watcher, though. I don't, I don't binge-watch a lot, really. As much as, like, as much as I guess I could do. I, I tend to, if I see a TV series that I'm really enjoying at the time, I will, like, sometimes just watch it like an episode a night mm. yeah which is what i'm doing now with a tv series called star girl um it's a dc thing it's super cheesy but it's really really um like it takes a lot from the comic book style um, is it, so is a it a bit... action. <laughs> so it's like a live yeah, okay. action but it's like it's it's live action but it's comic book cheesy and mm. really stays true to that and i i think it's really clever to do that and not like 
be terrible. <laughs> so, it's true. So I, I, I'm, I, I think I think it's quite good. I quite like it. I'm enjoying it. And I'm also like watching Star Wars, like going through all the Star Wars films like twice a week. Oh my god, um, that sounds like effort. <laughs> I'm, it's real I'm currently good. watching um, One Division. I, I, I'm so good. Wonder. I sent it. I literally Wonder was like, Vision. I, I started watching it last night, and I'm almost finished. Basically, I've got two episodes left. That's amazing. Um, I'm so glad you started watching it last night when the final episode comes out tomorrow. That is the most. I know. I, thing why I was like. <laughs> You can literally finish it tonight, and all you have to do is wait for like eight AM tomorrow morning, and then the episode will pop up. For you. Woo! Sounds like an epic. That sounds good to me. I'd be I'd be watching like an episode at like the day it comes out for like the past like, oh. whatever it is, eight weeks or whatever, but like two months now. Um, my my sister's been watching it for a while now. Um, oh really? Yeah, she was the one who kept telling me you need to watch it. Like at first, yeah, she was it's... like, "Oh, I'm watching this weird thing with Vision and Wonder. It's a bit <laughs> odd. I'm not sure if I like it or not." Um, yeah, it's like, everybody was it's like, it's set in the 60s, it's a bit weird, and I was just like, okay. And then the next week then, she was like, it's set in the 70s. Well, she didn't, I don't think she, she didn't really say 80s. that. She just, spoilers, God. And she... Uh, yeah, sorry, yeah, spoilers, yeah. I mean, I feel like you yeah, watched it. That's not as big a spoiler as I could be giving you. Yeah, it's um, true, but, um... <laughs> not gonna say anything more. I'm not gonna say anything more. No, it's just yeah. She was just like, oh, it's actually no, it's really really good. You need to watch it. You need to watch it. You need to watch it. And I was like, okay, I will watch it. And the first episode was just like, you know what? I actually quite enjoy it, even though it's like, obviously like a really sitcommy like 60s thing. I was like, I actually enjoyed yeah. the first episode quite a lot. Yeah. And then obviously you start going, oh, this something's not right here. And yeah, yeah so it's wild. What's this? And it's, it's actually like I really I really like the concept. Yeah. It is a good concept. It is, I, so I'm going to do a, so I don't know if people that listen to the podcast will know this, and I think this is, maybe this is new, something people, people <laughs> didn't know, but I have a, I have a YouTube channel, which is dedicated to film and TV reviews, but there's only two uploads actually on the channel itself, and I think a total oh. of eight <laughs> episodes of, of the series, and so some of them on the Game of God School YT channel, and like, I haven't oh, done yeah. much with it, but I'm very, very tempted to say like, what one of it, like, some point next week or the week after make a one division with you yeah and like go through <laughs> that and then just hopefully that will be the start of me making my aim is maybe to do like a video or two a month on that channel yeah because i'm, I'm doing weekly videos on my gaming guy channel <laughs> back in the mm. day i used to do daily videos now i find it hard to even do weekly videos so i think if i'm gonna have any more it should be like even less than weekly. <laughs> yeah, like, I, I, yeah, I agree. You know, it's like, it's not, I don't think I, I'm barely being able to do like, like I haven't recorded the video for this week and I'm super busy. So I'll have to probably do it like the day it comes out and stuff like that, which is like. It I reminds mean, me of a certain oh, other weekly thing we do. Uh... <laughs> oh yeah, what's that? For? Yeah, and also like right now I'm not editing the podcast because I have no time. But, but like when I start having more time, obviously I'm going to, relinquish some of the editing stuff yeah well. i might have I to give you some, some because i'm gonna have less time as well soon um yeah yeah and i'm gonna have hopefully more time so yeah anyway the point is the point is yeah it's all about balance isn't it we, we, yeah but, it's all about but, balancing the amount of content you make it's all about balance it is i, yeah, I feel like we what we do is I think you make less videos, you know, you used to do daily, but your video quality has definitely gone up. Yeah. Quite a lot. Yeah. I I agree. I think there was a period where I was making like lots of videos, but they weren't like good. They were just like get a video mediocre, out. <laughs> kind of repetitive, just like forced mm. a bit. Yeah. Just nothing. Whilst I think now I think you know, I'm, I I think I think they've got some entertainment value now that's that's kind of like interesting enough. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, and then I, have, yeah. I, I could. I mean, I've been uploading daily videos on the Secret Channel, and hmm. that took me what like a day to record them all and edit them all, and maybe another day to just upload them all and schedule them for the next month and a bit. <laughs> Of just like constant everyday uploads, <laughs> um, and yeah, that I feel like those the quality of them are very 
very, very poor. Um, <laughs> whereas I upload... People on the fact that... On the fact that um... Oh, you figured out what my channel name is. Yeah. I, I know how you did it as well. It was very sad. I accidentally po See, after the podcast last week, okay, uh, I was, I was I told Gerald the oh. secret because I was like, okay, you know, at this point, I can't affect the numbers. I'll tell some people um, what the channel is called. So I told Gerald and then I sent some screenshots of yeah. the stats from it and I accidentally put it in the wrong channel and Game yeah. of Ghost saw. I think you should explain as well. You weren't not telling me because you'd rather tell Gerald. It was just like we had this vision that I was gonna guess every week. Yeah, that, that was, was what and it like was. Yeah, talk about that, and it'd be like a cool secret. It wasn't that like you were specifically, you know, only. Telling oh yeah, you yeah, just, obviously. <laughs> you were just yeah. We, we we had this cool plan where like I wasn't gonna know, and I had like a sneaky suspicion of what it was, and I was gonna like. Then I literally just went on the chart. I saw it, and I was like. There's no way I, I could even pretend I don't know this. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I gotta go on it out. Like, there's nothing I could do. Uh, but what, guys, it's wild. I'm so hey, excited for that video. I, <laughs> guys, guys, I'm not gonna reveal it on podcast, don't worry. You guys could be the gamer guy. <laughs> you, guys could, you guys can have the reaction that, that I was meant to have. <laughs> that yeah. was destined for me. Uh, oh, so, so I'll, give you, I'll give you a weekly me. stats update. So... This week I've got 491 subscribers. Uh, I've got I haven't wait I need to quickly check how many views I've got in total. It's I can't calculate the amount of views right now in my head. <laughs> uh, somewhere in the region of over a hundred thousand now. It's 106,000 views. So uh, exciting! I'll give you a little tip. It's only been 400 watch hours. <laughs> yeah. What does that mean? It means people what haven't mean? watched the video all the way through. All the videos are short. What does Ooh. that mean? Or maybe there just haven't been any videos. You never know. <laughs> it could be many things. Did one video get popular or did something else happen? <laughs> well, actually, I could tell you right now, but uh, I've got two videos now that have above 35,000 views. So, another video did just as well as the last one. Wow! <laughs> this guy's so famous! So famous! So, so famous! famous. So uh. famous! <laughs> I love it! I'm really excited! I, re I really, um... I'm all about it. Yeah. <laughs> I'm all about And I'm, 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 I'm closing like... in on that 200 game guy on my main channel. Give me some more. I know, you're closing in, I don't like it. But then I'm kind of hope that I don't hit 200 just yet because I've got absolutely no clue what I'm doing for 200 subscribers. I have zero ideas. I have zero ideas too. That's why I didn't do anything. Damn it, guys! <laughs> you did nothing for 200. Oh, I know. It's so disappointing of me. I know. I should have done something. What was I thinking? What was I thinking? Uh, what was I thinking? Maybe we should uh, both. Maybe well, maybe what we could do is we could both celebrate 200 together yeah the i don't know what we do but play skyblock hell yeah damn Ash, i really like that idea that does sound good i really shouldn't have revealed that on the podcast <laughs> <laughs> guys we're not actually guys. gonna do it as a prank but like afterwards can we talk about it <laughs> guys, guys 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 you didn't hear it you didn't hear you heard nothing it's a prank. you guys you guys misheard we said <laughs> move on move on shy... <laughs> A shy flock of sheep went past, and I was just like, oh, that's a shy flock. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah, that's what we did, a shy flock. Yeah. It was, yeah. Our 200 subscriber special is going to be about a shy flock. Yeah. <laughs> they were, like, real scared. They did not want to come close. <laughs> yeah, this is real. It's real. Uh, um, yeah. I agree. I agree, we too. should do something on that idea. <laughs> We just had, but we didn't have. About shy block. We didn't know. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you know Bring what? Back the old days. You know what? I'm actually, I'm not finished. I'm not finished talking about film and TV. Okay, okay. that's fine. I forgot with me. to mention something. I forgot to mention something very important. Okay. And I want to go. I want to circle right back to it. Okay. That's fine with me. I'm happy to talk more about it as well because I forgot to mention something too. Because 
We always get carried away talking about YouTube because, you know, we're like famous YouTubers. Alex Ryder TV series on Amazon Prime. Yeah. I that's a, whoa, 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 whoa. That's a TV series? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, listen. listen dude, to dude, dude, dude. Like that's that. a TV series. No, it didn't. But it like... came out in 20. That's like one of my favorite books. Yeah, no, dude, no, don't even, don't even stop because you, your mind is going to be blown and then you're going to binge watch it. And I haven't even watched it. Stop. Just stop. I okay, 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 okay. I can't, I, stop. I can't, I don't want you to, yeah, you can't, I'm just going to explain it, okay? Okay. So, I've only watched the f first episode, I think. Um, which is really bad. I need to watch more. I've just been caught up with like other things. But, okay. First of all, I don't know if you ever watched the film. Nope. Ages ago, it was called Stormbreaker. It was terrible. It's not very good at all. Okay, I didn't watch it. It didn't really represent the books very well. It was a bit weird. It was a bit wild. But, oh my goodness, the TV series, the first episode, it is, it is like a perfect representation of the book because it doesn't carbon copy the book at all. But what mm. it does do is get the exact feel of the book. <gasps> and brings it into an even more modern light than like because obviously the book is it's not old but it's like a little bit yeah old now, i know what you mean in terms of like its relevance to certain things yeah. whilst this it takes that and like and brings it to to to, to, to the yes, world right now that's what it was, it was, not like was incredible. Incredible. brings it to the world right now and makes it like mm. oh yeah and all of the every single one of the the actors, gadgets actresses that no, plays no, the different no. characters is like perfect uh what the gadgets it's like? Mind blowing. I remember being a DS, see, but it was like a bomb. Yeah, I haven't uh, seen. Yeah, I don't know. It was what a it's pen like that did I, something. I haven't seen further enough yet. Mm. I haven't seen. I haven't seen far enough yet to really get to anywhere important. But <laughs> I think the series is eight episodes long, which I maintain that a series that is below ten episodes long is a good series. I, I'd say More a series like that's a less series. than eleven. Because some series that are 10 episodes long are really good as well. Yeah. Oh, no, true. Yeah, maybe like 10 isn't fair. No, I'm not saying like series that are <laughs> above 10 are bad. I'm just saying that like... I know what you mean, okay. yeah. It's like, it's like if it's below... Like comedies and stuff that can be mm. like real good. Like Brooklyn Nine-Nine has like 22, 21 episodes per series. <laughs> right? But that's great. We love that. But like, yeah. I maintain that if it's like a drama or something like that, or like an action or what do you call it? Like anything. What I'm trying to say is there is a point where... The likelihood of a series being good is that it, it's more like a series is good if it's if it's below or at ten episodes, um, mm. because I think because I think then they they're not just fleshing it out to get more like more people watching and more watch time and more airtime and stuff like that. They just they've got a story and they've planned it out, and the yeah. pacing's good for a TV series. And I think generally speaking, shorter TV series tend to be a bit better. I agree. I actually agree with you completely on that one. Um, I've yeah. found the same thing. Uh, a lot of people like, are like, oh, true, it's only it's eight episodes. Like... And I was just like, no, that's a good thing. Like, <laughs> Yeah, yeah. It's like people complaining. And it's, 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 it's because like in the US, it's a lot more popular for them to not. Be, yeah, I know. It's like 23 to, episodes to a series. Like I'm like, like what the, the hell? Like, I'd, if, anybody's list if anybody's listening here that's not from the UK, which is probably maybe somebody. And they're like, and you guys are a bit shocked by this. But like in the UK... If something's above six episodes, people think it's like too long. <laughs> yeah, it is. Six episodes is like. And like... I wouldn't say average. I'd say that's no. I'd say six episodes is about forty percent of the time. Then you have yeah. eight episodes yeah. is and another episodes, thirty. Like, or yeah. Another forty or something like that, and then it's like above that so, is yeah. it weird? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> if you like, if a British TV series that's like not. Maybe well, 10 British, episodes. That's the thing. Perhaps. Even British comedies are like, are not like, are not no. even long series either. Like, they're just not. Like, like they're not. They're, they're between six and 13 episodes as well. Like, yeah, you'd yeah. never see a 23 episode series yeah. in the UK. Like, yeah, that just doesn't happen. I've never UK. seen one. Um, <laughs> I can't yeah. even, I honestly can't even think of, of an example, like, specifically of an example that a series was that long. Maybe there is something. I, don't know, I get it. No, but soaps. But, Soaps are gonna be. Soaps, I guess soaps are crazy, aren't they? They're like per series. Series sometimes take place in like a year. Oh, I guess I, the series. I, like, wait, oh, do they have series? There? Is it Death in Paradise? I feel like that has long series. Okay, I feel like yeah, those like so, like certain genres might be way more. Um, oh no, even series. Death in Paradise doesn't have 
long series. <laughs> Even Death but, in Paradise is like eight episodes long. Yeah, I feel like the thing is though is that they say that oh yeah, it's like for example Rick and Morty, right? Halfway mm. through the series, they just stop. Like they upload it weekly, right? Sure. There's like a weekly episode, and then there's like a massive break for a year, and then the rest of the series comes out. So it's like basically two series, but they called it yeah. one series. And like, why? Why did you do that? Why didn't yeah. you just create two different series? Yeah. They just can't. They can't deal with the fact that it's. It's yeah. Not, um, not long enough <laughs> compared to what they used. To. Wild. It's wild. Uh, I mean, it really is. <laughs> uh, I mean, one of those, it's one of those things, isn't it? That like, yeah. When you live in like British culture, you just see things completely different. Like, oh, for example, when the Mandalorian came out and stuff like that, and people were freaking out that it was so short. They were like, "Why is it so short? Why is it twenty-two <laughs> episodes long?" Like, why, 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 why? Oh, it's no, like, the same thing with uh, The Witcher. Same thing with the witch. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah, yeah. I remember exactly thinking, oh, this thing. is like the perfect length. And then other people were like, ah, yeah. it's so short. Like, it's what? so short. Like, people are like, people are like, when, they, when the Mandalorian came out, right? People were like, why am I even paying for the description? Why am I even paying for the subscription if it's only like six episodes long? And then they only come out like once a week and it's like six episodes <laughs> long. They're like, um, it's like eight episodes, I think. And, and I'm just like, Oh, thank you so much for only making it. I know, like, I'd much rather that they finish on the right amount of time. Like, if a series, even if it, like, sometimes they can be too short, but it's an issue as well when they just, they, you know, they don't include all the content. Absolutely, yeah. But uh, I'd rather they make them the right length than, you know, just have a bunch of filler or, uh, you know, they milk certain bits just because they need extra time. Uh, to make it 23 episodes or whatever and it's just like really it's some because some series can really drag on if they try and extend them over really such a long time it's uh, really whereas sad. it'd be better yeah it is it's really it's sad, sad. That when series suffer from it's like it's like that perfect the perfect example in my opinion is there's a american tv series that um sometimes in the middle of the series they have this weird filler episode where it's just <laughs> really strange and it doesn't fit into the narrative of the whole thing and you get really confused why it's there and it's all because they want to hit that beautiful what they think the sweet spot is of like 20 to 22 episodes <laughs> it's like 20 like 20 to 25 i think is like the sweet spot of like what yeah, they think is the sweet spot 23 is Normally yeah, average. and I was like, why? That <laughs> episode didn't have to exist. We don't need it. Like it was, that was weird. And why was it even there? And they're just like, oh. and then, <laughs> or they'll have something super dramatic happen in the first episode. And in British TV, because it's like less episodes, mm. you know, you'll still feel the effects of that in a couple of episodes' time. But in American TV, they're like trying to drag out that feeling for like thirteen episodes. I don't care about what happened in the first episode by episode 13. <laughs> it doesn't have any impact on me whatsoever. I, and I'm like, uh, you can't expect... And then, like, obviously, that whole thing about trying to, like, reference back. Like, you're on episode 18 and it's not referencing something in episode 4. Like, how am I meant to remember that? I well, even know. that, you're like, why? Like, surely you want to reference previous seasons, not, like, stuff in the same yeah. season. Like, that's not so, a like, reference. Like, that's just, like... I was just talking just about like, like yeah. the other day. And it just yeah, it's just like, it's just so weird, and it's like, and like, oh man, it's just weird. It is, it just is. weird. It's I, a very weird world. I, watch, oh, I don't know. It just doesn't make sense. But at the same time, I mean, I can't complain. There were good, there were good series that are long. It's just like yeah. Wild. I mean, I, I mean, we've been talking about like American versus British, right? Uh, I've just been watching. Um, like a bunch of Japanese films, like a series, I guess, of uh, anime recently. I've just been getting into back into the anime sphere with Log Horizon. And ah, oh, is it good? Ah, oh. is it? It's like SAO, but different. Oh, <laughs> you know what you, I was you have... thinking about the other day. What? I haven't seen SAO, no. Um, you know what I was thinking about the other day? Whoa, 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 whoa. I... You haven't seen SAO? No, but would you like to know something even more wild? Okay. I don't actually know which series, which series was my last series of Ruby that I watched. I don't know what episode or last. Wait, what? 
It's, I, don't I remember think either. the last time I watched Ruby was they were arriving at. As a spoiler, for anybody who hasn't seen it, so just like, don't listen for the next <laughs> minute. No. Okay, no, next day, next 10 seconds. I'll say it in 10 seconds. Okay, three, two, one. Okay, I haven't seen anything since they arrived at Atlas. Okay, we have to wait 10 seconds okay. now. Okay, so okay. I just told you what it was. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if that was 10 seconds. I just kind of made it up. But yeah, uh, we'll just don't talk about point, anything important. So I don't know which series that is. <laughs> I have a uh, man that place. I was about to spoil it, then. Um, <laughs> uh, I, I genuinely don't remember when that happened, to be honest. Oh, wait, no, yeah. I do. That was the season before the last, I think. That was the one that had that really I'm good on episode. Volume seven. I think I saw volume up to volume yeah, 6. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Volume, volume 7, that's volume it. Seven. Yeah. Because for, oh, I'm yeah, sure I think Volume I 6 has that well. one really good episode in uh, like right at the beginning and then it goes terrible after that <laughs> yeah 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 yeah, is they... episode three? Is yeah it is three? it's episode three why why like genuinely i don't understand ruby sometimes it was like one of the best episodes of it and then like they just gave up yeah like they should have put that it. episode at the end like i'm sorry but the last episode of the series is always meant to be the best episode of the series <laughs> Storyline wise, you might get a better Story episode wise, yeah. that isn't related to the story. Um, for example, in The Crown, uh, I can't remember what series it was now, but there was a random episode talking about the accident at, um, I want to say Cooking Bran, but uh, basically, yeah, well, um, the most mining um, village that where all the children got swamped uh, in coal and died, and it was very, very sad and emotional episode and i'd say it's one of their best episodes but it didn't relate to the plot that much but it was a very very well done episode uh yeah i can't remember what episode it was now <laughs> uh, i'll try and find it if you want <laughs> episode six was it no that was the king of wales prince of wales even have you seen the crown no i bet a van that's what it is i bet a van oh cool uh, it's season, okay, you, you should watch it, it's actually really good. I think it's like 10 episodes it. per season. <laughs> I think I've, 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 oh, is it 10 episodes per season? Well, that's very nice. That's very good, yeah. that's very nice. That's quite, it is. That's quite a nice number. It is <laughs> a nice is number, isn't my, it? Uh, <laughs> it is in my, it is in my, uh, watch, like, my watch list, watch list, watch, what, my list? <laughs> yeah, know. your watch list. It's on there. It's on there. Season 3, episode watch. 3. There you go. Season 3, oh, well, episode 3 of The Crown. I, mean, I have got tons to watch, but yeah, I will then. I, will then. I mean, you could literally just watch that episode by itself, and I think it would make... It, like, you wouldn't be completely lost. Um, <laughs> like, that, that episode can kind of stand on its own. Uh, it's a very, oh, very good one. That's cool. Uh, yeah. You might not know who some characters are, though. You might be like, who's this guy? It's like her brother or something. <laughs> I mean, she kind of get used to it over the last, like, well, I guess last season, because they randomly... Okay, this is the saddest thing about the crown, okay? I, it makes sense, because they're obviously aging them up. But the, oh, yeah, but the, the cast... All change, yeah. The it's cast changed. completely changed between season two and season three, and threw me on the whole loop. It's like, who's this guy? Who's that person? Who's that? <laughs> uh, who's <laughs> I'm, like, so confused. And, like, they act differently as well. Because, like... Uh, they act slightly differently and just, uh, at first I was like hate it and then at the end I was like okay I actually kind of prefer these people but yeah I'm expecting it to happen again because it's been two seasons like it, the first it was two seasons and they changed okay and it's now been another right. two seasons so I'm expecting another change but I might be wrong maybe it will maybe I'm wrong maybe it's done. who knows <laughs> <laughs> anyway <laughs> that random rant <laughs> I love it I mean, this is what we're here no, for. Remember that episode, season three episode, so season uh, season three episode three, actually made me cry like mad, and I was very sad. One of the saddest oh, things wow. I've seen. Oh. Oh, uh, I bet I know what it is. Anyway. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, speaking I of great that. TV and series. Oh yeah, that, yeah, yeah. Let's do this. Yeah, yeah. The guy that you uh, said last week, uh, Shaffer Nickel. Oh my God, is his content yeah. amazing? Holy. Like, so I'm sorry, I was like, last week when you are like, oh, I'm going to suggest these YouTubers, I was just like, 
Okay, you clearly didn't think of a good topic, and uh, you're just uh, you're just sending some no, random was... people. And then I like I click on his channel and I watch his videos. And I'm like, oh my god, this guy is just <laughs> yeah. he's on another level. Yeah. These are so it's good. Mental. Absolutely <laughs> mental. It's like honestly, it is one of the the wildest things. Like seeing mm. when somebody on YouTube because. Neither me or you really does this, and we can honestly say that we don't make like, we don't make fresh, new, trendy stuff. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, you know we're not we're not breaking the boundaries of a YouTuber. You know what I mean? I don't know <laughs> we're not doing anything wild, really. Yeah. But some of the stuff you've done is a little bit more wild, but it just doesn't edge towards the type of th this guy. I've he done just... a lot of random stuff. I wouldn't say it's what I wouldn't yeah, say it's breaking the laws. It's just random. <laughs> That's all it is. This guy has taken YouTube and just made oh. it just like grabbed onto what it's really meant to be. Yeah. And it's like it's not all that it's meant to be. Because there's lots of different varieties. There's lots of varieties. Yeah. But yeah, it's yeah. just it's captured some of the core and I'm just like it's just so uh, uh, it's production level it really is it's yeah. like you it's, yeah. so, it's something you would see on tv or on netflix yeah. or something like that it's like the it's a content you'd see on that and it is yeah. so so well put together like edited the audio the, the music oh my i feel like this is like one of the biggest oh, the things music. he's good at like it just like it flows so well yeah Ticks the quirky box on the, <laughs> oh. the music and it just goes along. Oh, it's, so, it's good. so good. It's just beautifully made and I just can't get enough. Neither I can I. I just keep wanting more. <laughs> I'm just like, please. Upload uh, it's so please. sad, but I feel like YouTube's just not promoting it as much as it should. No, it's not. And especially with like the ink, because the videos, right, are like three to five minutes long, which is like basically what youtube is all about nowadays i mean um, yeah they're kind of like 10 minutes normally but mm. it's just ah yeah, oh, like, it's so good <laughs> the videos the videos being about because the videos are three to five minutes long mm. it's perfect for what for what he's doing I yeah like, i know they fit yeah. yeah they fit what he's doing perfectly um it just it just made it's sense, just you know? so sad to see that I managed to get uh, um, uh, over a third of his subscribers in what was it yeah, three what weeks? Like he just doesn't deserve that. He doesn't, he doesn't deserve. That. No, he really doesn't. He That's does, just like it's crazy because he's been uploading videos since like last year, and you know he's had good growth in a year, but not like not the type of yeah. One point two six k is. It's a lot of subscribers, okay, in a year. That is a lot of subscribers in a year. But considering his content, this is like, content. it's like he should be he, in millions. He's edging towards a million now. Yeah, <laughs> no, or, or he, yeah, it's like or at least have a hundred k by now. Or at least have a hundred k. Yeah, I mean, I'm I'm saying edging towards a million, as in like, I reckon <laughs> if people who, I reckon if more people found it, they would, they would. Oh yeah, yeah they would. Of course. Try. Just it's just yeah, it's just not being. It's like out uh, this. The quality the is of someone who has over well over a million subscribers yeah yeah, yeah. the qualities oh uh, yeah. it's so the... good you know what so, even 10 million so so good yeah <laughs> yeah yeah it's so good uh i just despise me same I just it just makes it. me want i want to make content like that now <laughs> yeah. like... i mean that's what i've always wanted to do that but i've just never done it and i'm just like i really want to do that <laughs> <laughs> I really want to do that. I feel like I just like annoyed I... myself because it wouldn't come out as well. Yeah. And I just get so depressed yeah. by it. Not depressed, but you know, like really upset, like annoyed at myself in a sense. Like, yeah, ah. I want to do that. I want to do it's that. like, why is it not coming out well? Why can't I do it? <laughs> like, obviously I can't because he's clearly got way more experience than me. Um. <laughs> he's, ta he's, got, he's got he's got like this raw talent as well. He does. He's got his raw <laughs> energy, this raw talent. It's just like, mm. and it fit. I think it fits him as a personality really well as well. It does absolutely, absolutely. It's like the perfect outlet for his yeah. personality. <laughs> Definitely agree with that, hundred percent. I, I mean, I, I, yeah. Speaking about personality. <laughs> oh yeah, personality. Oh, yeah? Um, I, I was gonna. I, I don't. I wasn't actually. I didn't think about 
rosiness ever. But I know it kind of came to my attention a couple of weeks ago when someone um was like, oh, by the way, do you like act differently when you do videos? And I do. Like Nero is definitely a character, in a sense. I um, a although in a podcast, I'd say I'm more myself. That's You're the not thing. Fresh and real. I'd say You're in in the podcast, I am not Nero. <laughs> I am not Nero in the podcast game. A guy, what is this? <laughs> but no, Nero, Nero is definitely in the, taken Nero in the on videos, the persona. In the videos, Cruel, the character evil. of Nero is just <laughs> insane. Just so I don't know. I guess different. Yeah, different. Yeah, different's the word. Yeah, I um. I don't disagree <laughs> with these comments. No, uh, yeah, I, I, to be fair, I think I did consciously do that. Um, like in last year, mm -hmm. like especially, I was like, you know what, I no longer want to associate my own personality, my personality on YouTube, because that way, if like, um, you know, it just means that I've got a disconnect, uh, in a sense, it's not me saying. You're stuff. just, you're it's just preparing character. for the hate comments. I am. I'm preparing for the hate. <laughs> <laughs> you're like, please. Come hate me because this is just a character. When I go back into real me, yeah. he's like a Russian sixty-two year old. But um, what you know, what are you saying? I, I will not accent. be offended. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I can't do right oh, sense. Um. <laughs> yeah, that's exactly who you are. Sorry, guys, <laughs> that you know, I think that on the podcast, so I'm more of myself, and on streams. Hmm. Well, actually, streams, depends yeah. on the stream. Depends yeah. on the stream. It very much depends on the stream, doing. actually. That's what you're doing. Um, <laughs> but yeah, yeah, when I'm actually, I say most streams, I'm character Nero. Actually, thinking about it, uh, <laughs> but no, I'm yeah. I definitely put on a persona. I feel like I'm a lot more evil. Definitely a <laughs> lot more evil. That's good. That's so like good. I made a trailer last week and uploaded it, and I was just like, this. I would never say this stuff in real life. Oh, I never, <laughs> never would have said any of this in real life. <laughs> so this, this stuff isn't normal, but for some reason I say it on the internet. But it, a, it's more interesting to me. I, I, it's because it's like I, I find it more interesting personally to watch than my boring self. So <laughs> boring self. How dare you? <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah. And I would. Yeah. Yeah, I don't think I have a personality, a YouTube personality. I'd say I, I don't know. I'm, <laughs> I'm reaching the point where I, where I want, where I, I like what I'm doing now. I just, you know, I want to bring it to another level, which can be a little bit more mm. different, original, maybe. Yeah, I want to, like, I'm, what I'm trying to do with this whole secret channel thing, is I'm going to try and, create a whole sort of series based on it of like how I gained X amount of subscribers in X amount of time just you know to experiment with different social media platforms and create like a different sort of view not view but like a different sort of content that's like clearly I created this like I haven't seen it done before I imagine it's been done but put my own spin on it if you get what I mean absolutely and that's that's, that's... where I want to take my channel next I think I think my I have my own spin on some of my stuff as well yeah and it's also, I want to keep my channel with less than 200 subs with good quality content, whereas the TikTok with 10,000 subs, uh, 10,000 followers even, that that can that can have, like, worse quality. Nah, who cares about the 10,000 people? <laughs> the 10,000 people should, should deserve the worst quality. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's what they signed that up is, for. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> just, just, like, just like the motto goes, you know, for the, for the few. Not the many. Yes, exactly. For the few, not the many. <laughs> hey, if if you're watching my main channel, then clearly that's that's the best content. If you're watching any other channel, I mean, you can if you want, but don't recommend it. I mean, Ooh. this channel's alright. I... Game podcast, I like. I like the game, game podcast. podcast. I don't even care about I mean... the numbers on game podcast. I just like to do it. <laughs> yeah, I yeah, I don't I don't care. I you know I. I applaud anybody who listens. Same. <laughs> I'm just like. But I also think if you're listening and you're liking it, then um, you know, don't stop. Don't yeah. stop. Keep listening. Keep going on the journey <laughs> with us. Hear about how we make these random channels and we do random things and you know we we are we are the definition of of 
of people who wasted their time on YouTube for so many years that we don't it's even true. know what's 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 good for us anymore. No, <laughs> I feel like I should Who focus knows? more on the stats. I, I mean, I'm trying to look more at the stats on my channel. Focus on the stats. I'm, but I'm trying I to focus a up. little bit more to see, like, okay, Talk where should I take my channel in the future? Just like recently, I've been looking at that. Um, just because this whole secret channel thing has been really put like, like okay, I really need to yeah. like change up my content if this is doing well. Um, <laughs> but uh, for the game podcast, I don't want to change anything personally. I, like even if it does terribly, I just want to keep like a there to be a place where we just talk for an hour <laughs> a week. Yeah, yeah. I just like yeah. it. Yeah, it's good. I like. I would. I would be well impressed if the game on podcast takes off. Same. I, I'm not expecting it to take off ever, to be honest. No, I'm expecting it to be a, this little little thing that just for some reason there's. <laughs> I just <laughs> imagine there's just this like there's this little channel with like less than fifty subs just hanging out with these two people that just talk to each other sometimes with guests, <laughs> and they just have a nice chat. Maybe, just, maybe the two uh, people have way like we already have like more than four times the amount of subscribers both of us and combined it's you know like eight times more but um <laughs> <laughs> oh, like, that's crazy yeah but i don't care this is this our little no. thing <laughs> no. I, mean, I also don't care if you really like it and you want to tell people don't don't feel like you got to keep it to yourself like it's some sort of special little little I thing don't... you got to hold on to just just I just don't think if you recommend it to somebody they're gonna say yeah I wanna I wanna do that. Well, I mean we kind of gonna recommend go it there. to people in a sense for to get guests on eventually. Yeah, <laughs> we, need, yeah we need we need <laughs> we, we, we need people to come so we can get them on. The Guys, podcast. please just come up with a, with a topic and comment it below and then come on the podcast <laughs> as a guest. We just need hop guests. On. <laughs> just hop on as long as you don't. Uh, <laughs> we get some, I can probably we I can probably. Comments. I could probably come up with more people, but they're not going to be. The problem is, yeah. is I came up with the best guests already, which is sad. Not the best. Oh, okay, that's going to be. I, I can't say that because what if we get a really good you guest came in the future? Up with the best guest already. <laughs> Anybody else who comes on is going to be so disappointed. Anybody else who's already been on is going to be disappointed. Everybody, you, you have disappointed. No, what I mean is, Everybody on the planet is, bar one person. <laughs> one person? No, I wasn't going to say that. God. No, what I mean is like, okay, so we had Wraith, right, for example, yes. and she just released yes. a brilliant new series called Wraith yes. Race, um, yes. which the episodes have been airing, by the way, if you haven't been watching. Season, uh, the final oh, episode is coming out on Friday. Why are you watching? <gasps> Gamer Guy! I, com I completely forgot. Gamer Guy, I am upset with you right now. Uh, yeah, forget, new, new like, episode on Friday. I didn't Friday. want to, I just like, was so busy. <laughs> Think about it. Oh my gosh. Anyway. I don't know what I'm watching tonight, even though it's like really. You're going to binge them all. I know um, what I'm watching tonight. <laughs> they're actually really good quality as well. Um, yeah. Yeah, really, really good. I imagine they are. Uh, and so one day, Rafe's going to blow up and we'll be like, yay. And then Gerald, who's now got over 200 subscribers, I believe, which is sad. Um, yeah. <laughs> At least that's what he told stop. me. I haven't actually checked. We should stop having guests on this stupid channel. <laughs> <laughs> we had, we had Archie Johnson. Our very limited audience to push uh, them over we had Archie Johnson accounts. who creates some great um, music videos, which I think will one day blow up as well. Absolutely, much agree. I'm running out uh, of content creators. I could think of one other. I could think of one person off the top of my head who we were going to invite, but I forgot to invite. Um, who <laughs> I discussed with you before, as a future guest. Yeah. Um, yeah. But I don't know that many people. I can think of other people I know, but I don't know as well, and I'm scared to bring them on. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Right, it's, um, it's just ah. Uh... Guys, no. please. You know. Watch a podcast. Yeah. Get in contact. Do it, do it for us. I mean, we don't mind doing these single podcasts, just me, me, and me and Nero. But like, yeah, I don't want to do it every. At the week. same time, <laughs> at the same time, we need to be fresh. You know. Yeah. No. We need to bring a new look. And also, we're not going to want to talk for for an hour or so. You know, just me, me and Nero. We're not going to want to do that. You know, nobody wants. I mean, to we do that anyway. <laughs> we do we do that anyway. That's just normal. That's basic. Like we we we're not basic people. 
we met up to record this podcast <laughs> two hours ago. Yeah, I think. <laughs> Yeah, and we're hours. only 48 minutes in, so clearly we talked for over an hour before even starting really to should. record. We really should improve, improve on that. Thanks. I don't think that's something. I think that's just how it is. <laughs> I think that's just the way. It works. I don't think. I don't think. That's, I don't think we can improve that. I think that's just how we are. <laughs> yeah. Uh, fair enough. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I agree. I hate. Oh, I'm so tired though. Oh, man, I swear you yawn in every episode. Fall down from the sky and explode. <laughs> you know what else falls down in the sky and explodes? Well, <laughs> not quite. Starship! <laughs> oh, it didn't, I it almost did, missed it, that. It did fall down from the sky, but then. <laughs> but yeah, then. I know. It landed. It actually landed should you for explain? once. I feel like you should explain the significance of what. I should probably explain happened. what Starship is in case there's new people. Yeah, yeah, yeah explain it, yeah. So, Starship. Okay. okay, so. SpaceX, I'll start with SpaceX, okay, is a rocket company created by Elon Musk. We mentioned this guy which before. Which we don't like. Which yeah, we don't like. we're not, we we're not bringing on the podcast. We just, we're not associated. He's not coming on. We don't want him here. Okay. Uh, <laughs> like, you know, he might be a great guy, whatever, you know, I don't care. Like, yeah, well, he created coming. this random dude who's not allowed on the podcast, uh, created a space company. Uh, well, actually, first of all, he created PayPal. He uh, created millions. space. And then he, and, uh, using his money, he created two companies, Tesla and SpaceX. I'm guessing you've heard of Tesla. Tesla's like gone big now. Um, yeah. But SpaceX what? is his other company, which is the whole point of SpaceX is to make humans multiplanetary. Um, and as you know, I like space, so they kind of line up. I like space. So anyway, basically, he, he's uh, he SpaceX were the first company to um, actually reuse a rocket booster from space uh, and which essentially has made um, rocket like, flights up to space way sp uh, cheaper, if I can speak that is. <laughs> <laughs> uh, they made it way cheaper so um, because they actually reuse the rockets rather than crash them every time. Because before rockets went up and then they just burn when they came back down yeah. or get um, lost in the ocean. Now they land. They they get and they land lovely on little these rockets against what I don't know, but they purposefully land and it's lovely and beautiful. It's it's, it's really difficult. Like pe people kind of assume like surely it's easy. Surely they should have thought this ages ago. Rockets going. I mean up. it's like, it's rocket space science. Space shuttle which attaches to... itself to a rocket then float back down. Like people say, rocket science is hard. Imagine. One, uh, I think uh, rockets are in the sense of launching a rocket, right? Imagine then trying to bring the rocket back and landing it in one piece and launching it again. It's just like a whole other section of a massive part to it. But um, many people it's, thought it was all, impossible. Yeah. Uh, many people laughed like, at it and said it's impossible. Yeah. Now it's got to a point where it's really rare to see a Falcon 9, which is their current rocket, um, not land. Uh, if it crashes, it's so then it's difficult. crazy. Like, it just blows my mind because, okay, the biggest thing that's like, it takes so much force and like energy and just like, it takes so much for a rocket to take off, right? Because it's huge, it's super, super heavy, and it's got to like, you know, mm. goes really, really quite a far distance and completely, utterly against gravity, right? Yeah. To then have that be able to come down and land, like that massive, massive, massive thing, be able to come down I and know. land, is incredible. It, it really is. It's not gliding anywhere. It's not. It's not gliding like a plane. I mean, it, I mean, technically, it kind of, but like, it's not. It's not <laughs> gliding a plane. No, it's. It's not the. It's. Well, the thing is, different. you can't uh, with it's, those rockets. Like they that, can't, they can't really do that because they're kind of. Um, it's just the way it's done and the whole point of pulsefully landing rather than landing it like a plane like some people have proposed doing that as well as like parachutes and things the problem is is that they want to be able to land rockets anywhere in the solar system and not everywhere has runways like you can't there's no runways on mars there's no runways on the moon there's no runways on neptune um <laughs> yeah so essentially they have to land purposefully in order to like land properly 
in um, anywhere in the universe. Um, but the thing is, is that their rocket, the most powerful rocket in the world right now, is the Falcon Heavy, which essentially three of those Falcon 9s strapped together uh, and can carry lots. And the, what, uh, the Falcon Heavy can carry 140 thousand pounds in space which i'm about to convert right now because i've got no idea um <laughs> uh, how much that is in kilograms to be honest uh it's yeah, just wait <laughs> okay um <laughs> i think it's sixty three thousand kilograms so that's 63 yeah. tons wow. so yeah it could carry 63 tons to low earth orbit I've, um, which is essentially uh, just uh, is that lower for, actually is it to lower for but is it to space it's different hang on uh, anyway no, it can carry that much yeah the only other rocket fa um, more powerful than that was the Saturn V which launched astronauts to the moon 45 years ago um, yeah it could take it to space so that's a Kuiper belt so that's uh, 100 kilometers high not even to orbit so that, um, it can launch so yeah, that's how much it can launch. Starship, Starship can launch a hundred metric tons. Is it a hundred? I think oh, it's a hundred thousand. Hang on, uh, I'm getting this really wrong now. Um, Starship is capable of uh, hundred and fifty metric tons to low Earth orbit and to Mars, essentially, um, to anywhere in the, in the solar system. So that's um, like a massive difference. Plus, it's way cheaper it, um, than even the Falcon Heavy. Even though Falcon Heavy is reusable, it's not fully reusable. The top stage doesn't return. That just floats in space forever. Um, well. The payload bit. Uh, whereas the Falcon, um, sorry, the Starship even, that will, like, it's in two sections and the top section will come back and land as well as the bottom section. Uh, and currently, they haven't even started work on the bottom section. <laughs> well, they have actually. I think, I think they're putting it together, but they haven't tested it at all. Uh, that's that's called super heavy, whereas Starship's the top section. It's Starship super heavy in total. But um, yeah, so we've been testing out Starship, and Starship's going to bring, like, okay, I say it's 120 metric tons, right? That doesn't really mean anything. So it can hold, it can bring 100 people to Mars in one go. Like, that's how big this rocket is. Oh, okay? Like, a hundred people can fit in it. But I think they're planning on bringing 80 to make it more livable. Uh, and to bring more other payload. But it can essentially, it can bring, it can hold a hundred people. And um, they're planning on sending four of these things. Four of these things at once to Mars. So they'll be, they can, and with 80 people per ship. Like, isn't that mental? That's oh, 320 that so people at once. Like, everyone's thinking, oh, we go to Mars with, like, three people. You know? Like, they went <laughs> yeah, to Mars with three people. Yeah, thinking, like, a group of ten might go at the most. Yeah. But no, like, 320. No, no, no. We literally might send <laughs> a bunch of the... Oh. Yeah, oh, because they want, so to call it, they want to take, like, stay on them. You know, they don't want to just go to Mars and come back. They want to go to Mars and make a permanent settlement on Mars in order to become oh. alterplanetary. Why, y'all... Uh, and essentially, Why? big news recently with this is that um, they managed to land it. Uh, they flew it up in about 10 kilometers high. And this landing is crazy. Uh, like, I, I said they landed other ships, but this one's crazy because they do a whole belly flop maneuver where they literally turn the rocket on its side so that it can use, because yep. it's so huge, they use the actual side of it to slow it down in the air. Uh, and then like at right at the last second flip it right round and um thrust it up uh thrust it like crazy so that it slows down in time and lands and yesterday as we were recording this it did exactly that um although me and i was with um huh. a friend actually when we were watching it live and we we're like placing our bets oh. as to whether it'll work or not and we we're like it's it's gonna be almost it's gonna work oh. But then it's going to explode, and that's exactly what oh. happened. <laughs> oh. But yeah, oh, so the objective sad. was to land, and it landed. Yeah, I completed this objective, and then all the newspapers and news people are like, oh. 
The rocket explodes. Eight minutes like, later, it exploded. <laughs> stop. It was eight minutes later. It did its thing. I know it's not good. Obviously, we don't want. Obviously, obviously, it's not perfect. We're not going to send people up to Mars. They're like, as they're about to get off, it explodes. <laughs> but ah, uh, yeah. Sorry about that. Bro. I started start unloading yeah. some like supplies. But. Yeah, essentially, oh, no. uh, what I think the common um, theory, working theory is that because after it landed, there was a small fire on the bottom, and it, mm. it there might have been some fuel leaking, and it just hit that and exploded. But I mean, even if when it exploded, like the top half, like like it's a section of it, but it's like practically okay. Like, it was a very odd explosion where the bottom blew up and top weird. blew up, but the middle, it kind of was alright. You can probably recycle it, it, like melt it down and it reuse it. Weird. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it, um, was, it was strange. It was a very shiny strange rocket strange. this time as well. It got shinier. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah. Yeah, it was, it, was, it was good. It was fun. I mean, speaking of giant rockets landing, another um, company uh, that's mostly known for small rockets has just announced it's making a big rocket. So, um... <laughs> uh, there's a company in New Zealand called Rocket Lab and what they do is they make really really small rockets out of carbon fibre I say really small they're still quite big <laughs> but they're a lot small like you, oh, can fit, you can fit oh, a, um, you can fit one of their rockets within the payload of a Falcon 9 but a Falcon 9 oh, is huge oh, oh. so um, this is like this, this deal is like what you're talking about here is 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 you're talking about you know those big RVs that have little sports cars in the bottom? That's what you're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> That's what you're talking yeah, about. Well, yeah. I mean, it's, it's you're talking about the space bigger than an, of RV. an RV with a little with a little, with a little I'd sports say it's about as big as a double decker bus. <laughs> Maybe it might be a bit bigger actually. Uh, they're called electron rockets. Uh, you know, as in the subatomic particle electron. Um, I've never heard of this Peter Beck, but. Yeah, he's the CEO maybe. of Rocket Lab. He's actually really cool. Maybe he's uh, he's, maybe he's better he's cool. than Elon. <laughs> we should have him on the podcast. <laughs> <laughs> we want Peter. We, no, want um... <laughs> we, want, we know all this. We know all this Elon guy. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, they're quite bad. Okay, they are we're actually bigger than the back back of us. I was wrong, but um, they're because they're like made of carbon fiber. They're super light. You can literally push them like with your hand. Anyway, <laughs> um, anyway, these rockets are actually really cool because um, they use batteries. Um. And also the engines are 3D printed, so they're like super cheap to make and they're super quick to make. Um, and they use batteries to um, push for fuel through the en um, through the, uh, the engines, whereas normally they use fuel to push the fuel through the engines. <laughs> like they, they have like a sec like they have a sort of um, like a sort of uh, engine that pushes the engine in a sense normally uh, in most uh, rocket engines, whereas they use electric and um, a, they use an electric system that pushes the fuel into the engine. Um, uh, but then, and they also have the batteries attached on the outside, so as they go up, and once the batteries run out of charge, they just drop them. <laughs> huh. To lose weight, because the main, the main reason nobody else has done that is because the batteries are heavier. But they just drop the batteries, so it's fine. Uh, and um, in the past, yeah. they've said, we're never make, um, and they've said, okay, we're only focusing on small rockets, and we're, we're never going to make them reusable because of a, um, it, they didn't, at the time we didn't think it was possible to make it reusable. Then last year they announced, okay, I was wrong. Turns out you can make them reusable um, by <laughs> doing this crazy like helicopter um, system where they have like a parachute, um, it parachutes out, right? And then a helicopter with a hook comes between the parachute and the rocket as like a line and grabs the line and just takes it down. Um, it's okay. a very, very odd system because they're really light. They can do it just a helicopter. <laughs> it's the weirdest way of doing it, um, but it works. I mean, and they, and they did yeah. it. And last week, uh, they well, actually Monday. Um, so they announced that they were making a giant rocket. And so he ate a hat because he previously had said in other meetings, like to the media and stuff, oh, we're never making a giant rocket. Oh, he eat a hat before it happens. So he ate a, ha a hat on camera. Um, <laughs> <laughs> this guy is cool. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> but yeah, they're making Definitely. a giant rocket called, um, what is it called? What do they call it? Neutron. Okay. 
Um, is that because the little ones are called electrons? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think That's so. Uh, yeah, so we're making a um, neutron, and that is um, going to have, I think, 85 tons. So that's still way smaller than Starship, but we're spoiled by like Starship is like how uh, like, I say you know how I was saying how Starship could bring a hundred people. Saturn V, okay, the most powerful rocket ever built could only carry three people. Yeah. To the moon. I mean, yeah. to be fair to Starship, it is going to refuel in space, so they're actually going to because it's not going to have enough fuel to get to Mars with a hundred people. Obviously, they go to orbit. Yeah. And then they send up other starships about then refuel it in space, which is uh, going to be fun to for them to figure yeah. out how to do. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, that essentially makes it like super cheap um, to do and easy. But yeah, wow. as another player on a big rockets as well. So you've now got you've got New Glenn from Boeing, you've got Neutron yeah. from Rocket Lab. And you've got Starship from SpaceX all coming out. Oh, and SLS from NASA. And Boeing. Oh, yeah. Oh, I forgot about SLS. SLS is like... <laughs> it's SLS at this point is so outdated and expensive. It's just so dumb. Like, but it was meant to come out 10 years ago. And it's not reusable. And it's so expensive to make. But, like, they because NASA sunk so much money in it, they just make, make it going. Um, yeah, it's been under development for like over 10 years now. It's cost 18.6 billion dollars already. Um, and it's going to cost 2 billion every time to launch as well. <laughs> and that, that's and what NASA are panic planning on yeah. sending um, people to moon on in 2022, I believe it was. Planning to send people to moon. And then you've got, and then you've got like, what do you call them? Like, I don't know, the sub genres of space, like Jeff Bezos's Amazon. What is it? No, uh, Blue Origin. Yeah, yeah, um, that's New Glenn's from and... Blue Origin. Uh, from oh, Jeff Bezos. New Glenn is from New Origin. Oh. Yeah, yeah, New Glenn is that their thing. Um, that was also going to be the most powerful rocket good. until Starship became a thing. <laughs> yeah, and it's and uh, they actually they posted um their their best um recently. I think Friday last week they posted videos about um, New Glenn, uh, about updating it, which is very rare. We hear nothing about New Glenn compared to like SpaceX who builds it out in the field and we hear everything. Um, New Glenn is like very top secret. Nobody knows much about it. Um, yeah. But they said that um, they're looking at um, hopefully being able to launch it um, into like actually getting it, testing it in space in 2024 at the earliest. And by then, SpaceX apparently are going to be going to Mars, so... <laughs> yeah, okay. Like... Yeah. <laughs> it's kind of sad. If SpaceX... I don't know, I don't... I don't, I don't think they are going to Mars in 2024, but that's what they're saying, so... Yeah. I was going to say I'll eat my hat, but I don't, really don't want to eat your hat. I know, <laughs> it looks so disgusting. <laughs> like, the way... Um, I really don't want to. The guy... Uh, well, I've forgotten his name. The guy of uh, um, Rocket Lab, when he ate a hat, the way he did Pizza. it was he cut... Peter Beck, Beck or something. Yeah, Peter Beck. Um, what he did was he yeah. actually cut up a hat into pieces, put it in a blender and blended it, and then like had bits of fabric and ate it. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> and then was like, this is disgusting. <laughs> uh. I love it. That's what it's all about. That's why you do what you do. Uh, no, to be fair, Peter Beck is so cool. Like, no, I don't think I, anyone pays attention to Rocket Lab because space like dwarfs him, but, ah, uh, I mean, Rocket Lab is actually one of the cool, like, have you, their, their, um, headquarters in New Zealand, like, they've shown videos of it, it looks so sick, like, it's all, like, black with LEDs around in the corridors and stuff, and, ah, uh, because their rockets are black yeah. as well because they use carbon fibre, so yeah. their rockets are, like, wow. pitch black. <laughs> awesome. Yeah, and then... That's exciting stuff. It is. Yeah. Oh, also, by the way, the whole thing of Rocket Lab was that they were meant to be, um, they uh, well, they have been actually, they're, um, trying to launch very, like, as often as po like, possible. Because they're, obviously, they're focusing yeah. on, like, small satellites, which didn't need massive rockets, like, Star um, like, Falcon 9 or whatever. Yeah. Um, yeah. so they were like, oh, yeah, but we can launch it in, like, a few days. 
you know, um, whereas you might have to schedule like months in advance for a bigger rocket. Um, and like they have their own private launch site in New Zealand. I think they also have a set, another one in America as well, just for like different launch windows. But yeah, it's pretty cool. <laughs> That is exciting stuff. Well, it I is. reckon that's probably all we got time for for today. But um, I reckon you're right. That was uh. good. I love hearing about space stuff. I love the chats we had today. <laughs> Remember, guys, go to the comments section. Go to the comments. Say some things. Suggest some topics. And if you're cool, come on the podcast. <laughs> Please. <laughs> Please. We need you. Um, yeah, go make yourself a cup of tea. That was a wild one. If you haven't made yourself a cup of tea in the podcast, like before the podcast, maybe halfway through, then you're crazy. But go, go make, make one a cup of tea you now. Deserve it. I like how you just bring it up because, at the, like, after all the topic suggestions I posted, I said, "Getting a tea, be right back." <laughs> <laughs> and now it's a topic. Hey, look, yeah, anything I've that goes there tea. becomes a topic. It does. All right, guys. It's wonderful even, even... to have you listen. <laughs> we'll be back at you same time next week hopefully uh with a guest i think yeah guest. yeah i so, have uh, an idea of who but i haven't asked them yet so we'll see yeah <laughs> go yeah well maybe somebody else uh go with um go with go go with go to some Our of channels. the other channels we have links below especially shaf and nickel if you want to watch some epic, epic oh i epic recommend videos. it so good the latest Everybody. one ah oh. The latest one's real good. Real like, good. I, I don't care about Beautiful. skiing, but oh, it's so good. Nah. <laughs> You're like, I know, I don't, I'm like, not even that bothered about the actual topic, but the video makes me bothered. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> it's wild. It's wild. Yeah, guys, uh, we'll see you next week. Have a great week. Um, stay safe. All that good stuff. Wear a seatbelt. Bye. <laughs>